We've had our budget monitoring update for the first quarter of this financial year. Dry stuff, but really important. I have no doubt that many of you will have heard of, of what's happened at Birmingham City Council, um, where they've effectively gone bankrupt. Um, I've had a couple of my parishes nervously asking me, is Wiltshire in the same boat? And I want to categorically assure you we're not. Um, the update we've just had shows that at this point in the year, we're currently looking at a budget overspend of about £300,000. Now on a budget of 460 million, that is tiny. Normally at this point in the process, we'd expect to be a couple of million over, and normally that is resolved inside the next six months. So at this point, we're actually really, really well placed. Um, I don't say that lightly. There's been a huge amount of work that's gone on, uh, both with politicians and with staff, to make sure that we are looking at, at delivering preventative work. So work that means that our um, spend on, on uh, transport for, for children with special educational needs has increased, like everywhere in the country, but ours has increased, for example, by about 1.4 million, whereas Cornwall, a not dissimilar sized county and council, has increased by 5 million because of the prevention work that we've put in around buying minibuses and buying people carriers to help move children around, for example. Really important that we carry on doing this, that we're not complacent, but the, the, the state of Wiltshire's finances are robust. And because of the, the robust state of Wiltshire's finances, because we've been so careful in, in controlling the way we spend money and, and reducing ongoing demand uh, through prevention work, we are able now to release £10 million um, that we were going to be looking at putting into the Trebuchet Leisure Centre. Instead, we're going to fund that through the community infrastructure levy funding that we have, and that £10 million is going to be released to improve our, our roads and our highways moving forward. Uh, this is really significant. We've had a really bad winter in terms of the effect on our roads. The money we've got from government has gone up, but so is inflation, it's all about even. We think there is a real need to put extra investment into preventative work to stop our roads deteriorating and therefore reduce the amount of money we have to spend on them in the future. Now, this will be uh, based around, around some work around resurfacing, around strengthening verges. I'm sure we've all seen those potholes on a small country road where you've got a large pothole on the outside turn of a, of a corner uh, and putting some reinforcements in there to prevent those occurring and also some work around, around footpaths and byways uh, making sure that we reuse material when roads are resurfaced. So a big step forward and something we hope to build on in the future. We've received money from government, uh, a third year of funding for supporting victims of domestic abuse uh, and we've just approved the way in which we're going to spend funding for years two and years three. Uh, this funding, it, it, it's really important to look at domestic abuse as more than the, the, the image that some people have of, of a sort of mum with young kids fleeing violence. Domestic abuse can happen to a wide variety of people at a wide variety of ages and making sure we've got the right support in place to deal with that, that full spectrum. So that funding has now been, been identified, it's, we, we've identified how to spend it in terms of support workers and, and accommodation provision and so on uh, and that's been agreed and will be put into effect to build on the, the very good work that's been done in the first year.